Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And today this is actually going to be probably a pretty short video. I'm filming a lot of these in a row, so if I just wear the same clothes for the next four videos, that's why. But today we are going to be talking about the center position. And before we talk about this, I actually have a question I want to ask you guys. Um, and if you're new, go ahead and subscribe and like the video and all that. But would you guys be interested in seeing Buccaneers Madden gameplay or just Madden gameplay in general? Let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below. It's been an idea I've been tossing around in my head and I, uh, you know, I write it down on my notebook. So it's been something I've been tossing around in my head for a, for a couple weeks now. So if you want to see any type of Madden gameplay, you know, let me know. I think somebody even said do a James Hill career mode after I did the whole combine video so maybe I'll do that but let me know if you have any Madden video ideas down in the comments section below along with other video ideas but today we are talking about the center position and there are only two centers so I'm going to be very in depth with each guy it is Ryan Jensen and Evan Smith now these are the only two guys who are labeled as centers on the Buccaneers official website so let's talk about it Evan Smith okay Evan Smith has had a really interesting career for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, obviously, from the formerly of the Green Bay Packers. He did come in, and he I think he was our starting center for a while um, when he first joined. I honestly can't remember when he joined. I think it was the 2014 or 2015 offseason. Um, I want to say 2014, but I'm not sure. So anyway, let's just assume 2014. We signed Evan Smith, and he was our starting center, and things were okay. Things weren't too bad. I thought he did fine for what it was worth. And then we brought in Joe Hawley. And it was like, okay, Evan Smith's play kind of is dropping a bit. And then he lost his starting center spot to Hawley. And then he moved over to, I think, right guard or left guard. I'm going to say right guard. He moved over to right guard, just kind of both guard positions. He was kind of everywhere. He was kind of like that Swiss Army knife offensive lineman. Just put him anywhere. And he did okay he's been doing okay in that role he's had that for the past couple of years you know and i like versatility and I, I i do enjoy how versatile evan smith is um so he's just been kind of moving all around um he is finally back to center which i do like i think that's his natural position i think he's a pretty decent center i think he he can be a starter if you need him to be he's had starting experience before on it not only for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers but for the Green Bay Packers as well so like you could obviously have a lot of worse options besides Evan Smith so I really this is what I'm talking about whenever I talk about like my lack of trust in O-line depth like Evan Smith is the guy I want for all of our backups a guy who's had starting experience before who we can get on a pretty decent contract and a guy who you know he can start if you need him to start because he knows how to be a starter you know, that's, Evan Smith is literally the perfect backup in my mind for an offensive lineman. The perfect backup. Like, I'm, I'm confident with Evan Smith because I feel that you can put him anywhere on the offensive line and he will just go out there and do his job, you know. He won't, I don't think he'll be too bad of a liability if you put him in a position he hasn't played in before because he's just a veteran. He has that veteran instinct. He knows how to do his job. He's back to his natural position at center now. Um, I think he's going to fill in that Joe Hawley role of just kind of, like yeah really really good backup center so i i'm i'm very happy for evan smith um i'm very happy that we got evan smith back and re-signed him and all that um obviously i don't think he's going to be the starting center or or starting right guard or starting left guard um maybe maybe starting right guard if a lot of things go wrong for jr sweezy and alex kappa maybe you see evan smith slide in over there but i think we are gonna i think the buccaneers are going to primarily use him as a backup center and i'm totally fine with that he's definitely in my opinion one of the better like he's he's a he's a perfect backup offensive lineman for me i can't say that enough like i love it but uh moving on to ryan jensen obviously the new starting center for the tampa bay buccaneers he's the highest paid center in the nfl i believe correct me if i'm wrong comment section correct me if i'm wrong uh, last year, graded by Pro Football Focus as a top 10 center. However, um, some experts, experts, some people have said that, well, you know, there were some games where he just looked like a very bad liability, and then there were some games where, yeah, he looked like a top 10 center, a top, you know, top center in the league, but then there were some games where it's just like, ah, he's not very good. So a lot of people are like, we don't really know what the Bucks have gotten with ryan jensen and honestly i think that we have gotten a good center i feel like um 
if those moments are there where it's like, holy crap, Ryan Jensen, you're really good, then obviously he has the ability to do that consistently. It's just all a matter of doing it consistently. So if he can do it consistently, which we all pretty much assume he can, he's going to be a very productive center for us. And I like it. I think he's a very, um, for, he's he's very good. He kind of fills in that Joe Hawley role had last year or a couple of years ago where he's just kind of like a very angry, not angry. Hawley wasn't an angry center, but it's kind of like if you mess with our players, he's going to get in your face and he's really going to lay into you. Like uh, this year, this offseason in particular, Jason Light's kind of been getting players who are more nastier and tougher and just kind of like get out of my face or and stop talking trash or I will put you on the ground and I love stuff like that because that's that's what we need we need more toughness and we need more just kind of like bullish leadership so people don't take it slightly and I know a lot of people say like oh well every year we always think we get players like that and it never happens you know we never see it I don't think I don't think that like I don't know what like, it's weird, right? Because we always assume, like, oh, this guy, he's going to be the guy. And, like, he's going to be that tough guy to give us some backbone, you know? And then it's like, uh, I don't know. I feel like if we don't see fist fights, we're not satisfied or something. I don't know. That's just how I see it. You know, it's like, if I don't see this center, if I don't see Ryan Jensen, like, throwing somebody into the stands, I'm not satisfied with his toughness or leadership. You know, there's other ways to show that. And I'm sure we don't see all the toughness and and leadership that that goes into signing these players you know when people said Robert Ayers was gonna bring toughness I'm sure we didn't see all the toughness that Robert Ayers actually brought you know I'm sure there's a lot of stuff in the locker room that we didn't see and just overall in the general Bucks facility that we just don't see on game day um, I think Brian Jensen is gonna be one of those guys and obviously when Flacco I think whenever Flacco got hit last year and it was a bad hit it was a really bad hit uh, I, I feel I felt bad for Flacco. I love Joe Flacco. Like I love him. So like when when he gets hurt, I get hurt. So he got hit really bad, and Jensen was one of the first ones there. I think he just he just absolutely mauled a defensive lineman, and then this big old fight happened, and it was great. And Ryan Jensen was right in the middle of it, cause you know Ryan Jensen. So that's kind of what you want is guys who are gonna protect each other, you know. And if Jameis Winston gets cheap shotted, then oh buddy is there going to be some fireworks that's what you want and that's what you're expecting for guys that bring toughness that bring toughness to the table and guys that bring that type of attitude that's what you're looking for guys who are kind of saying like oh you're messing with my franchise guy i'm going to murder you and i like that i like that a lot <laughs> so i'm expecting some pretty big things from ryan jensen i think he's going to be a pretty good anchor for this offensive line kind of a solidifying piece he's not too old he's 27 28 i think he's 27 i think we got him on a four-year deal and this offensive line's actually looking pretty nice fully healthy okay this is in terms of fully healthy because i know uh, demar dodson's injured right now you have donovan smith who a lot of people call him inconsistent but He's um, had been three years in our system, and I, Dirk Cutter likes him. Jason Light likes him, likes him, and I like him. So Donovan Smith, there you go. I know, I know, I haven't liked him in the past. I can never say that enough. I, I know I have not enjoyed Donovan Smith in the past. I will, I will eat my words on that one. I'm sorry, Donovan Smith, and to everybody who does like Donovan Smith, he's cool. Anyway, so moving on to left guard, Ali Marpet generally just one of the better offensive linemen in the league he's pretty good next you have ryan jensen which i just talked about him right guard is the biggest question mark on this offensive line is it going to be alex kappa is it going to be jara sweezy i think whoever you put there is obviously going to be the weakest link on this line so that is what it is but you know they're going to be surrounded by ryan jensen and demar dodson when he's fully healthy and demar dodson you know top five tackle in the league at least um, some people call him a top three top two right tackle in the league um when he's fully healthy and playing so it's a pretty good spot for whoever's playing right guard so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're new go ahead and subscribe and like the video don't forget to join the facebook group as well as like the facebook page recently launched all of it it's great it's huge it's wonderful 
you know, and I'm having a lot of fun with these breakdowns. I hope you guys are as well. And if you have any more suggestions for any types of videos I should upload, leave them down in the comment section below. Like I said in the beginning, maybe do a Madden series. Who knows? Again, let me know. I did a live streaming Madden series that went for a while. Actually went for a very long time. I think it was like 25 to 30 live streams. So maybe I do something like that. Who knows? But let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video, but until then, goodbye for now, guys. See ya.